I'm settling down, my text gold, you scream, you know better than that, I come around when you least expect me, I'm sitting at the bar when your glass is empty, you thinking that the song's coming on and all right, so the season's about to gear up. Just want to take a little time and talk about all the players we got. We got one of the greatest of all time, LeBron James, playing another year in Las Vegas. $41 million contract. I'm uh, Obviously, he's going to be the starting three. Um, really want to use him as a mentor for the guys this season. Um, not going to have LeBron for that much longer. Up next, we got DeAndre in the number one pick. Not much to say, just a brute force down low. He's a rebounder. He's a dunker. He's he's the man. Now we got Jaron Jackson. I think we used the number three pick on him. Uh, he's just he's a tough. He's a rebounder, but he can also spread the floor, and he's a great rim protector, and he can he's got a jump shot. Up next, we got D. Rose. Decided to sign him just because, uh, you know, I'm a big fan. Former MVP. He can pass the ball. He can shoot. And, you know, could have given up a long time ago, but he's still pushing, still trucking on, and we need that veteran presence on our team. All right, and up next, we got... As you can see, we got Jaron Jackson right here. He's a passer. But Luka Doncic, the dude can just flat out shoot, and he can get to the bucket. I love having Luka on the team. He's a beast. Now, John Collins. John Collins has been a little bit of a problem for us. Uh, him and Tex Towers, they don't get along, and uh, I don't know why. He just doesn't like John, and we're, we're going to try and move John this season. And now we got our... I don't know if I want to put him at backup or if I want D. Rose to be the backup point guard, but uh, Terry Rozier, he makes a strong case to be the, the starting guy. He can shoot, he can pass, and he's quick. He's got a nice uh, three-point jumper, and like I said, it's going to come down to him and Derrick Rose at the one position. Um, I don't know who I'm going with yet. All right, now we got Brandon Paul out of Illinois, my my favorite school. Uh, picked Brandon up because he's a three-point shooter. I love that he can spread the floor, and he can also get to the rim on occasion. But I'm mainly going to use him to spread the floor out and, you know, use him as a perimeter shooter. And then finally, we got Justice Winslow. Um, I don't really know how to use Justice. I mean, he can shoot. He can get to the rim. Um, has yet to be seen what he's going to bring to this team this season. Um, I'm hoping he has a breakout year, and hopefully LeBron can give him a little bit of uh, mentorship this season. All right, so we're going to go in and we're going to work on these mentorship things. So I'm going to have LeBron James mentor a lot of these guys because LeBron has a crap ton of badges. Um so I'm going to have LeBron uh, mentor Jaron Jackson here. I'm going to have LeBron mentor Luka Doncic. I really just want this group of guys to have this, um, you know, championship type um, atmosphere around them. I want them to, to have what LeBron has. And I feel like, you know, our team, we're, we're not going to be able to depend on LeBron anymore because LeBron is gone after this next season. I'm not paying him $41 million a year for us to keep, you know, losing in the playoffs. It's not going to happen. So I'd rather have him mentor these guys, build these guys into winners so they understand how to win and win a lot. So right now I got him doing some different things for Justice Winslow. I want Justice Winslow to become a better defender. Rain and Paul, I'm going to have um, Derek Rose mentor him. I'd love to play Rain and Paul at the one. And I'm going to do... I'm going to do all three of these. 
And plus they're both Chicago, well not Chicago, uh, Brandon Paul's from a, a little, about an hour away from Chicago, but they're, they're basically Chicago boys. So I figured I'd put them together. We're going to go talk to John Collins real fast, see what he has to say. I'm just going to be honest with you, I think I've earned a starting spot on this team. Oh, have you, John? Have you? That's not what Tex says. Tex can't stand you. And I don't know why, I don't know what you ever did to Tex, but uh, he's pretty ticked off. We'll just do the uh, time will come. I completely get where you're coming from and just want to reassure you that you're extremely important to this team's plans. We just need more time to assess other talent and enter them. I feel a whole lot better knowing that we've had the dis this discussion. Yeah, well, there you go, John. John Collins has been growing increasingly frustrated with his role within the team. Do you plan on making him a starter or make letting him stew? Uh, this is an internal topic. It has nothing to do with you, press. All right, we got another press conference. The team may be on a winning streak, but the team or the fans aren't feeling confident. What do you have to say to them? I guess it's up to us to go out and keep proving them wrong and earn their loyalty and respect. Yeah, screw Las Vegas. How's that sound? Would you ever consider trading LeBron James? Yeah, if someone would take him off my hands. Absolutely. In fact, I'd love to see what he's worth on the open market. For all the other GMs listening, I'd love to see some offers on him. Ooh, his morale really went down. I'll have to work on getting that back up. All right, we're losing games. Okay, who's? somebody's got to be injured. Oh my god, of course Derrick Rose has a fractured right leg. So Luka and Derrick Rose are out two to four months. Great. Alright, so we just got a trade offer for Terry Rozier and Clifford Dennis, who is a, a guy I just picked up in the NBA draft. He's like a second rounder. So we're getting Jeremy Lin and Trevor Booker for um, Terry Rozier and Clifford Dennis. I'm trying to get their first round pick as well. And we got it. Okay, so now we have Jeremy Lin and Trevor Booker on our team. I love Trevor Booker's game. Um, loved him at Clemson. Recent trade discussions you have with another team ended up in the hands of the press. What do you have to say about that? Oh, I'm pissed. Ridiculous. I thought we were professionals here. I don't know what that guy was thinking. My guy is ticked off. Tonight's loss makes five straight. Something isn't working here. Any idea what it is? Uh, the staff? Oh, Greg is pissed. Look at him. He's like, I came on for this. Another pref. Can we get to the playoffs, please? How satisfied are you with your current staff, top to bottom? As our roster changes and ages, the needs for our various staff needs to change as well. We'll be looking for some upgrades when the time comes. Greg is going to be gone. Your team's winning streak now sets at five. Do you think it'll last? No way. Five is lucky. Six would mean we're actually good and we're not. <laughs> oh my. Worst GM ever. All right, so the season's coming to an end. We're four, well, we're about 10 games above 500 right now. 43 and 35. Just beat the Warriors, which is huge. Um, hopefully we can finish 10 games above 500. And we are, so. Um, fan interest, 100%. Team chemistry, 94%. And we lost to the Thunder. Of course we did. Well, sorry, Tex. Dang. At least I kept the fan interest up. You've had a very successful season. You have home court advantage in round one. What are your expectations for your team in the playoffs? It's hard to predict. You just have to be hot at the right time and anything can happen. That's the NBA for you. Tex didn't like that. All right, so the MVPs, Russell Westbrook, almost got a triple-double. Trent Wallace, rookie of the year for the Mavericks. Six-man, my dude, Chris Dunn. 
Kawhi wins Defensive Player of the Year. Of course he does. Oliver Goodman, Most Improved. Mike Buddenholzer is your Coach of the Year. And then Executive of the Year, I get robbed again. All right, so here's the first team. Nobody from our team, of course. Second team, LeBron. He made second team. I like seeing that. That's that's nice. Good for him. All third team, Prince Patterson. Good Lord. I wish we made a conscious effort to go after him. LeBron James made the all-defensive second team, and we have no rookies on the all-rookie team. So let's see here. Take a look at... What am I looking? What am I doing? Oh, league leader. No, team stats. Let's take a look at our team stats real quick, or our player stats. Let's see who led. So LeBron, look at Jeremy Lin. 14 points a game, second leading scorer. DeAndre Ayton is hurt, of course. LeBron James putting up almost 23 points a game. Taron Jackson could do better. I like DeAndre's uh, rebounding there. Luka Doncic. I mean, and we got Keita Bates, Keita Bates Diop. Forgot about that. Uh, he was a good pickup. He's injured right now, though. Brandon Paul. Got Mike James. I'm Maria Caspi. Uh, first round, we are the three seed. We got the Denver Nuggets. We win game one. And, of course, we lose game freaking two. Golly. And game three. What is wrong with us? Okay, we win game four. Let's win game five. Oh, here we go. Here we freaking go. Thanks for coming over, Gabe. I have a new goal that's come up. All right, what's the goal? Let's hear it. Is it going to be force a game? Yes, it is. It's force. Are you sure you don't want us to throw this game so we can get an early start on our vacations? I didn't know winning the next game was something we wanted to do. Enough with your childish sarcasm. Get the team ready and stay alive in this series. All right, well, no promises there, Tex. We suck. All right, game seven. Can we please win game seven? Please, for the love of God. Yes, let's go. Oh, great, we got the Timberwolves. Oh, God, no. All right, game one goes to us. Let's take a look at the box score, shall we? Can we look at the box score? Yes, we can. Oh, crap, I pressed the wrong one. All right, well, we won game two. Jaron Jackson, what a beast. 22 points and nine boards. Jeremy Lin with, okay. Jeremy Lin's out here balling. And we're up 3-0. I swear if we lose this series. Thanks for coming over, Gabe. I have a new goal. Sweep these fools. Hmm, I'll think about it. Part of me wants to throw the next four games so we can be the laughing stock of the league, but maybe you're right and getting a sweep would be a better option. Give up your dreams of being a stand-up comedian because you're never funny. Oh, hell no. Did he just say that to me? Well, there you go, Tex. That's what you get for not calling me funny, you piece of trash. Justice Winslow. Is that important right now? I don't really care about Justice Winslow and his stewing. It's not important to us. And we're in the conference finals. Okay, please. Please, let's win this. We got the Oklahoma City Thunder. They beat us the last game of the season. Let's hope that we can beat them. All they have is Brandon Knight and Russell Westbrook. Okay. We win game one. I like that. I like that. They take game two. That's fine. Still got home court. Game three goes to us. Game four goes to us. Lose game five. Come on, boys. And we're in the NBA Finals. That's what I'm talking about. First off, congratulations on making it to the finals. How confident are you that your team will bring home the trophy? I have complete confidence in our players, our staff, and our fans to cheer us on to victory. We aren't going to lose. Here we go. Let's see who we play. Please be the Bulls. I really don't want to play Giannis. He's so overrated. Oh, my God. Yep, here we go. Maybe we got a chance. I don't know. They got Colin Sexton, the Bulls, too. All right. 
Well, here we go. The NBA Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks. We win game one. We win game two. All right, lose game three. That's fine. Lose game four. Okay. Oh, come on, guys. Seriously? Oh, my freaking God. I'm so... Screw this game, dude. Oh! You fucker!